Now, I got to tell you about Mike. It's a hot summer's day in July. He's 14. He walks out into his garage. He sees a snake. He walks up to it. It's a rattlesnake. And being brain dead, he gets a board and just kind of positions the board right on the neck of the snake, not to hurt it, but to immobilize it, reaches down and picks it up. He is holding a rattlesnake by its neck. Now, when he's telling me this story, I'm just going, oh, dude, you know. And, and well, let, me, let me ask you this. You shout it out to me. If a friend of yours said, I picked up a rattlesnake and was holding it by its neck, what's the very first thing you'd say or think? What is it? Oh. Yeah, it's like, do you really have stupid tattooed on your forehead? <laughs> well, I'm going to make it a, a self-admission here. That is not the first thing that I thought. When Mike told me, I'm holding a rattlesnake by its neck, the very first thing that came to my mind was this. Do snakes have necks? <laughs> I don't know. Does a snake have a neck? Hey, well, if you got biology or something this afternoon, go ask the professor that. Do snakes have necks? So he's holding by a second suit. All the kids in the neighborhood are coming over, and Mike is doing that typical 14-year-old brain-dead boy thing with the snake. Ha, 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 ha. And he's, he's going up to people. He's chasing girls around the driveway. It's going to bite you. It's going to bite you. And all this. At one point, Mike got to the, all these kids are standing around. He is swinging the snake. I'm going to throw it at you, Bill. And there you go. And you know, he'd hold on to everyone's laughing, screaming, yelling, having a great time. Everyone except the snake. <laughs> this was not a happy snake. This snake didn't feel loved. And worse, worse being in, from Utah, this snake did not feel special, <laughs> which is required in Utah. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so he's holding the snake, and a buddy of his calls out to him and says, hey, Mike, and he goes, yeah, what? And they start talking. Well, as his focus shifts from the snake to his buddy, oh, you already know what happened. This starts to happen. He, he, without even realizing it. Now, what did I just tell you about this snake? Not a happy snake. And comes down, bites him right on the hand. And Mike is surprised. It bit me. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Mike, you knew what it was when you picked it up. You knew what rattlesnakes do. They go from house to house just looking for people to bite. It was a rattlesnake. What did you think was going to happen? Well, you want to be a champion? Identify the rattlesnakes in your life. And a rattlesnake is this. Something that you, you know is right. It is given to us to know the difference between right and wrong. Now, there are basic human values I'm not talking about imposing my political views, my social views, or my religious views on anyone. There are basic human values. You don't lie. You don't cheat. You don't steal. It's like John Huntsman Sr. said, winners never cheat. These are basic human values that over time will make you a champion, that will make you a winner. Let me tell you about one rattlesnake that will absolutely take you down. It will destroy your family. It'll destroy our society. It'll destroy this college. That rattlesnake is not telling the truth. 